I'm Sean Berry, I'm Chair of the London Assembly Housing Committee and we're investigating the impact of changes to welfare, changes to the housing market on council's ability to provide temporary accommodation and help to people who come to them um, in need of housing. I'm here today to speak to Sarah, who's just one of many, many cases we've been hearing about. So I was living, I was living in my new, new property in East Village, which I bidded for with my first daughter. Um, and that's where we was only there for three months before we received the Section 21. So I went back to the council I was residing in to tell them I was getting evicted. Um, they gave me a, another emergency accommodation, hostel type of emergency accommodation, which for about two weeks, um, where they was doing investigations, then they said I made myself intentionally homeless and I have to go back to the council I bidded from. Again, and the only thing left that I haven't really done is li literally slept on the street with my kids. But we have literally had to one or two days been slept in cars. This has been an ongoing situation for four, going on four years now. So I've been back and forth with Hackney Council for over three years. Three different big assessments three different approaches, three different circumstances, and even a greater need, and still being turned down. So they just handed me, just pushed on the table, a relocation package. But it just seemed like an application form, a homelessness application form for Durham. They gave me one. It's so about September. They handed me another one for Bradford. I then started, you know, learning about who to go to, where to get advice from because that was something else the social services wasn't giving me or letting me know exactly what organisations I can go to. It was just shelter. Council should assess people properly and very carefully with a fine tooth comb instead of finding excuses of not housing them. My life's been on hold for four years.